everyone. Welcome to Deception Pass State Park. My name is Elizabeth and I am an AmeriCorps interpretive naturalist. Join me in exploring the differences between two subspecies of mammals that people often confuse here in the park. These animals are adorable and can swim like no otter. Can you guess what this species is? The otter! You are all otter-worldly smart. Otters have warmed their way into people's hearts as lovable and adorable animals. But one thing seems to confuse our visitors. What is the difference between river otters and sea otters? These two subspecies, members of the same species, with differing geographic ranges or characteristics, have many dissimilarities. So come with me to discover why. Let's all take a moment to observe these pelts. What do you notice about them? Many of you may have noticed a difference in size. One of these is our North American river otter and the other is the sea otter. Can you guess which pelt belongs to which? The smaller one is our North American river otter and the larger one here is the sea otter. Sea otters can weigh up to 100 pounds, whereas the river otter only weighs up to 30, meaning our sea otter is three times as big. Now size isn't the only difference between the two. Let's take a closer look at the pelts to discover more. Can you spot another difference? Some of you may have noticed that their fur is not the same. The river otter's fur is thin and sleek, so that way it can catch its prey. The sea otter's fur is much thicker. It has the densest fur of any mammal on earth with up to one million hairs per square inch. Its fur acts like a jacket, keeping the warmth inside because it spends most of its time in the ocean. Earlier I said they can swim like no otter. These pelts are cool, but it's their swimming ability that truly kept, captivates people. So come with me to discover why. It's otter's feet that allow them to be incredible swimmers. I have two sets of feet here. Can you guess which ones belong to which otter? The ones on the left are the sea otter, and the ones on the right are the river otter. Take a moment to observe the differences between them. The sea otter has small webbed front feet, but large fully webbed rear feet that look like flippers. They use their rear flippers and tail to swim. The river otter has webbed front and back feet. The river otter spends a lot of time on land and the web feet allow it to easily walk or run across the ground. It uses all four of its webbed feet to swim. Let's watch a video of some otters in the park. See if you can use what we just discussed to tell which type of otters these are. River otter! Did you guess correctly? Most of our visitors do not. They assume the otters that they see out at sea are sea otters. Interestingly, Deception Pass State Park is only home to river otters. Sea otters, like their name suggests, mainly live out at sea. Because of this, they need big bodies, a thick warm fur coat, and flipper-like rear feet to swim in the water. River otters, on the other hand, live in a variety of habitats, such as lakes, streams, and along the coast. They have smaller bodies, sleek fur, and webbed feet to go on land and in water. See, these species are not so otterly confusing. Remember these differences and you're well on your way to becoming an otter expert. On behalf of Washington State Parks, thank you for joining us. <laughs>